Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nerd's Lair. I'm your host, Wapancho. I'm joined by the J Money, Man of the Legend. What's up? The legend himself, the geek takeover. The myth the man. What's up, what's up? Yeah. Ready to take over the internet, right? How do you know I haven't already done it? Uh oh. Well Jay kind of is he's done his own little takeover streaming. Congrats on the stream, Jay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I'm I am supposed to uh, stream RE2 remake soon. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. And then geek, you have one planned, and I might. Yeah, go. hopefully this week I'll get something going. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's good to be back. It's been well, like a week, week and a half. Yeah. 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 Well, it's been a while, and uh, you know, busy with like expos and. Jay's been doing his thing, Geek's been doing his thing, but we're back. Yep. Start with, um, we have quite a few stuff, you know, we can touch on. We're going to start with uh, Joker. You guys want to talk about Joker? Because that's... <laughs> I ain't even seen it, I know it ass. Yeah. yeah. Jay hasn't either. Yeah. I've... That just makes me the prime target here. Yeah. Fuck. Take it away. <laughs> Uh, well, we can. I'll just give my review, and then we can talk about the behind the scenes drama because, of course, I had to have some of them box office. Um, it's not good. I want to love it, you know. Phoenix is great, Gaga's great, but yeah, it's. I I think looking back when you know had people like Geek and other other people on the internet saying. It didn't need a sequel. I'm like, yeah, I can... it didn't need one. And now we're seeing the the results of it, and then all the stuff coming out. But yeah, um, Geek, uh, you've been uh, very open how you thought about Joker sequel, and the box office, and the behind the scenes. What do you? What's your take on the whole situation? Uh, well, I mean. It, it was definitely it's definitely a movie that like never needed a sequel the trailer just really never excited me and made me want to go watch it and i think the fact that you can say that movies like morbius and madam webb have a better box office than joker 2 that's all you need to say uh plus it doesn't help that i heard like todd phillips really didn't want to do it and stuff like this and that it was an Arthur Fleck movie and not a Joker movie and all that. It's it just sounds like some things are kind of excuses, but the box office speaks for itself. And Jay and Jay, you were actually excited. Uh, you haven't seen it, but you were actually excited until the reviews came out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, what do you think of the whole? I mean, I I love the first one and after it was like after months of it um, hitting a billion, there Todd Phillips said he didn't want to do a sequel, and you know something or WB basically made him do a sequel, and I mean, I I was excited because to me the trailers looked good, like it looked like well shot and stuff like. Arthur, uh, I said Arthur. Um, Joaquin and Gaga looked great, but I mean, when I started hearing the reviews, I was a little, I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh no. And then that's when I saw everything that went down. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, man, apparently this is like. Something about Phoenix dreamed about it. Like, I heard a report of that, and then they want to do the, I guess, spoilers, but you've probably seen it. The whole, like, him carving the smile, they wanted to do one and do that in the first movie, but then, like, Nolan stepped in and stuff. And right now, I'm looking at the box office, it's 121 million. So. Yeah. I think, I think there's a chance in my past, it's budget, but I don't... I still think it, it'll bomb. 
Especially with uh, this, like we got Venom and Smile Two coming out, you know. And Terrifier, don't forget about Peak. Yeah, Peak. Oh, yeah. Is that this week or mm. tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, eleventh. So, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. I need, I need to watch those movies, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> Not not surprised, and like I think people always say, "Oh, the studios should never interfere." I think this is a case where they probably should, because I, I hear they like gone try to give him notes, and he kind of rejected them, and like definitely we'll be hearing much more. I bet, but in the meantime, um, you know what? I'm gonna let these guys choose what they want to talk about next. Oh, <laughs> turn the tables, Mohaha. Oh, okay. Uh, spooky uh, well, I mean, let's. I, I guess we can just get a start on top on topic of. Let's do the. You know what? He wants to give a little bit of a the dynamic duo of the choice. Jay, how about we talk about the dynamic duo movie that the DC is going to do? Perfect, you know. Perfect choice. Wait, does that mean I'm the Joker? You're not a part of this anymore, Juan. Uh, see you next door. Get out! Right, no. Anyways, <laughs> so you had me at Nightwing. Well, not Nightwing. You had Dick Grayson and Jason Todd. You need to say no more. I don't care that it's a different origin story for them. I don't care. It's, if you find a way to make them Nightwing and Red Hood, I'm sold. I You have me. Yeah. I mean... Damn. <laughs> You're just coming out the gates like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also the way they uh, said the animation is going to go, like, it's a mix of stop motion, CGI, 3D. Yeah. The uh, that little test footage that they had released, it or it looks like some shots could be really like well done. True. I haven't even seen the test footage. So I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, like it. It wasn't test footage of like. Robin, but like it was how their animation style is. Um, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, like um, apparently they switched up their whole thing because they did a movie back in 2016, I think they said. It well, um, someone has said, um, and this new like this test footage was of how they're gonna do their animation now, like they changed it up so now like the whole puppet 3D CGI um, mm-hmm. is like their new style. I mean the test footage it was it was good. I mean some characters looked a little weird but I mean it, it, it's it's gonna look very different um like post production. Oh yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, some some of the characters could look great, and there was like a single shot where it was raining, and it wasn't supposed to be Gotham, but it looked like Gotham in that test footage. Bloodhaven. Yeah, I mean, what Gotham, Arkham? I I don't I don't know. All the same thing, let's be honest. Yeah, potatoes, potatoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joker's going to be running around. <laughs> going to run away from a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> but what but you... uh, fine, let's see. Uh, what's your opinion, Juan? Yeah, we know you're itching. Uh, I'm with you guys. It's, uh... <laughs> no, uh... It's. I didn't expect it, and like, and you guys did say it's DCU, right? So it's like I be, I I don't know if it's directly connected to DC, but it's going to be like uh, you know part of it, or like yeah. under that umbrella, I guess, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm curious what they're going to do. Maybe they'll some Spider Verse style in there, 
And it's, when you think about it, it kind of is like you're not really focusing on a Batman or whatever. It's, you're just doing, I don't say like a lesser known because, you know, a lot of people know these characters, but, you know, I guess introduce them to a bigger audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it could be cool. I'm I'm down for it. Uh, something I'm not very down with, though, it's another, I don't even know if you want to call them dynamic duo. And th- this one hasn't been confirmed. The dynamic duo one has been, but the one, uh, I guess I can just lead us off to Bane and Deathstroke. Geek, I don't think I heard your thoughts on it. I, I want to know what you think. I think it's total bull until, uh, until there's confirmation. I don't believe in like anything. Uh, because there's like no proof to it, so how can I believe it? Yeah. So, but we'll... assuming it's true, like, what do you think? Are you, would you be excited that, for? No, it it doesn't sound like it'd be good. Well, Jay, what do you that... think? Or were you not anything else, geek? Oh, no, I was gonna say, just me personally, it just does not sound good, it sounds boring. Maybe not boring, but it just doesn't sound entertaining to me. Yeah. Beach. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I already told you what um some people were saying. Like, on the surface, it's kind of like, why? why? Why them two just randomly throw them in there? Because, I mean, like, I don't have a problem with Bane or Deathstroke, but no setup to them or nothing. Yeah. But I changed my mind after hearing what people were saying that it could be a cover up for um, people were saying a seven six. I think they had said, which it's a whole team of just. Villain, Bane and Deathstroke were core members, along with Catman. I think uh, um, it was a Green Arrow villain. I forgot. Merlin. I don't know. I think I don't the, even know what team you're talking about. So yeah, it was it was like basically a smaller Suicide Squad, but of like more. Like more muscle, basically. Like they're like they're smarter. They know how to get stuff done. Riddler. I don't think Riddler was a part of, but like no, it's a little inside joke. Come on, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, I never heard of the team until you brought it up. Yeah, I didn't hear about them until I heard this one person bring it up, and I was like, you know. It won't be too far fetched because James Gunn, his whole thing is let's bring lesser known characters or teams to light. And I mean, hey, we might get a live action Catman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like Condor King, Condor Man. <laughs> but also another thing was. It could be a cover for Teen Titans. That one could make sense because Deathstroke, you know, he could be both Batman. Yeah, he has his history but, with the Titans. But here, here's my here, don't mean to interrupt. But here's my thing with that. Did, I mean, it hasn't been confirmed, but they have already talked about just doing a, a Titans movie already, though, for the DC. Yeah. So why? I was say gonna, you'll do a Deathstroke and Bane, and it'd be a cover up for Titans. Yeah, I was just about to say that too. You read my mind. Like, I don't know why it would be a cover up if we already know Teen Titans is coming. But I mean, also, isn't that a little sorry, but isn't that a little weird of a villain choice though? Bane. Bane? Like, obviously, he's fought, you know, whichever Rob, he's fought Robins. Like, it's no, but I'm like, that's. It's a little odd. I don't. I don't really associate him fighting like Raven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I think like if if it's gonna be a cover up of anything, it'll be that sixteen 
Which I mean, okay. Or a Suicide Squad, a new one. Maybe yeah, I've been hearing be. that around. Yeah. Having Deathstroke in a Suicide Squad would be crazy. And yeah, both of them. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, half excited, half confused, <laughs> because like, I. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I was telling Jay this when I, the day we heard the news. Like, this reminds me of when the DCU was still going. And if you guys remember anything, it's they'd announce like a project almost every single day. So, oh, like, I, I got those immediate flashbacks. Like, they're not, they're not gonna make this. But again, God hasn't confirmed it, and you know, whatever comes out of this, it'd be interesting to see. But at the same time. I don't know if anyone, or I don't think anyone cares about this. I don't, like, I could be wrong. Hey, you know, it's cool, Bane, we can see a new, you know, proper iteration of Bane and cinematic Deathstroke. That'd be cool, but I don't, I'm I'm like you, I'm curious, but, like, confused. It's like, why of all, yeah, yeah. And it, and they also team up. Yeah, team of two. Like, I mean, they probably teamed up in the comics. I don't doubt it, but I'm like, yeah, I don't really see those as a team. Yeah, let them get it along. <laughs> yeah, or maybe it's a cover up. Like, they're actually they'll play big roles in the Brave and the Bold movie. That was gonna actually bring that up too. And like, they could that could be the case, and like they were trying to do a movie, and then you know happens a lot too with like a lot of these things like like mm-hmm. no let's just apply that script to whatever we're doing like first class is a good example they're gonna do magneto movie in the first class and they just combined it but we'll we'll see i guess um or not see yeah we'll or not see and but something that we are seeing though green Lan- or lanterns lanterns yeah lanterns yep. geeka after well, so many weeks of back and forth, brawling in, he's not in. New guy, and wh- what do you think of this? It's all confirmed now. And then John Stewart today, or uh, yesterday, should I say? So, I so I'll start with the first of the John Stewart uh, part of things. I don't, you know, uh, as as a as a mixed person, I don't like, I I don't care too much. Like, sure, he's not full black he's light skin but it's like he's still a person of color mm-hmm. so i don't really understand a lot of the outrage i mean i guess i could kind of understand it but black is still black at the end of the day so i'll start by saying that secondly i i've watched i still need to fish about i watched part of i think it's rebel ridge or whatever it's called on netflix that aaron peers in great movie what great actor so made like such a good choice i'm so happy by it but part of me is upset because i know he was in blade at one point or another but on the other hand i'm like you know what him not being in blade and john boyega turning down that role in rebel ridge gave this man a, a really good job and i'm happy for it so i can't wait to see it now to Hal Jordan. Uh, Kyle Chandler, I believe, is the actor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Go, didn't know who the hell he was, but I know he looked familiar. Looked him up. He's the dad from Godzilla King of Monsters. Yeah. And Billy Bobby Brown's dad. Uh, he's also in Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, and he's also apparently an Emmy winner. So, you know, he has credentials. Uh, sure. I don't know the the choice about making him and uh, Nathan Philly and Guy Gardner like a lot what's seemingly like a lot older Green Lanterns. I think that's an interesting choice, uh, but we'll see. Uh, maybe that means we'll get Kyle Rayner, who I, is my personal favorite Lantern. I just think Kyle Rayner's cool, and even the synopsis for Lantern sounds really amazing. Like I think I'm gonna love it. So you're on board, huh? Oh yeah, for sure. Aaron's gonna crush it. He's so good. It might be my favorite. 
like there's not a lot of casting right now in the DCU, but it's probably my favorite casting out of everybody right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, how do you feel? You got to say the oath too, man. No, I'm kidding, no. But how do you feel about the situation? Green lamp or lanterns? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with John Stewart. If y'all know me, John Stewart, he's one of my top three favorite DC characters of all time. And I did see Rebel Ridge fully. I'm happy with this casting. I don't I don't care if he's mixed. He looks the part, honestly. Like mm-hmm. he he like it's John like, Stewart. Like yeah, like if he like if you see his face in Rebel Ridge, he gives off that John Stewart vibe. If you like sit there and like put a picture together, he gives off them vibes. And, and I don't care that he's light skinned. Like I don't know why that's even controversy, but I don't I don't care. I'm happy. <laughs> like I'm just happy that Jon Stewart's actually getting some love in live action. <laughs> like, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> John like Diggle. Gambit? Yeah, <laughs> like Gambit. <laughs> or John Diggle. He was supposed <laughs> to be in Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I'm I'm just very excited for, um, for Jon Stewart. Now, when Chow... Uh, I was about to say Kyle Chandler. <laughs> Kyle Chandler. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't. Oh my gosh. Is the dog okay? <laughs> oh my... <laughs> I just, that scared me. I'm sorry. Jay, go on. <laughs> go check out your animal. All right. All right. Jay, continue. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know who Chow. Uh, damn it. I was. <laughs> what is... <laughs> I didn't know who he was, um, but I mean, seeing his face, I could definitely see him, um, like in the Green Lantern role. And I didn't even think he was that old. I don't know how old he is, but I mean, they said it's gonna be an older, more grizzled Hal Jordan. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even think he looks. He's fifty nine. He's fifty nine. Yeah. Compare, you know, and just just to do a quick Google search, Aaron Pierre is. Hold on. He is. Nope, that is a football player. I want the actor. He's thirty. Damn. Both of them look young. <laughs> Both of them look. I don't. Oh, I don't know about Kyle Chandler looking. Okay, he well, looks sixty, but he he ain't looking thirty. Well, like, what's it called? Um, the photo I've been seeing, like, associated with that whole casting, I would have thought he was, like, maybe mid-30s. Like, I, I thought he was, yeah, like, not that young, but, like, not old and grizzled. <laughs> like, that. I'm back. Doug's fine. Sorry, Jay, go on. <laughs> he said, fine. But, um, yeah, and I mean... Nathan Fillion, Guy Gardner. That's that's cool. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. He, not gonna lie, he looks a little a little goofy with that haircut. But I mean, yeah, I feel this, like that's the point, though. Yeah, yeah, that, that's definitely the point. But I mean, like with them three and the synopsis for Lanterns, I think I think they'll do really good. I mean. I think Hal's going to end up dying. Because I'm pretty sure he's only signed on just for this. Oh, I didn't know that, but I mean... I'm pretty yeah. sure. I mean, I, I could definitely see it because it's like, oh yeah, you're setting up a young John Stewart. Like, I thought they said that he wasn't even going to have the uh, ring for most of it because it's going to be set on Earth. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I'm just my boy John Stewart. <laughs> my boy John. You don't care about anything else, just John Stewart. Yeah, just John Stewart. That that's all I needed. 
and I was going to be watching. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he looks like John Stewart, like you guys said. So I don't, I I never actually haven't heard any of the outrage personally, but I think it's the internet. Oh, just go on Twitter and search. You'll find some. Yeah, but you can only avoid it for so long. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, I haven't seen him. But again, you know, I'm looking forward to what he does. Uh, Kyle Chandler, I think he's a great actor. I'm with most people. Like, why not a younger one? But you know, I'm still on board. And I, I you know, the idea of a season Green Lantern is cool too. So. Yeah, no. I, I would. Oh, oh sorry. No, you're good. You're good. I, I was just. I, w- I would just like to chime in real quick. I do really love the idea of pre-established heroes, like getting a middle-aged Batman with Damian already. You know, telling that telling us how many, how long he's been at this, and then get getting now a grizzled veteran Hal Jordan. I like that idea because for a majority of fans. They don't we like we we don't need origins, you know. It, it's like when the MCU stopped doing that with Doctor Strange. At that point, you it, you know who these people are. Yeah. Like, you don't need these stories. And it's also like comic book um, fans. Now, if we didn't know characters before, oh, we definitely know them by now. We don't need to go through the whole routine. Yeah. Um, like it's like Batman, we know who Batman is. We don't need to go through the whole routine. Will we love them? Probably. Yes. Well, there would, but I mean, yeah, we pretty know. Yeah. Well, I also, I, I don't. Even, while I was gone, did you guys? What do you guys think? Uh, I don't know. You guys touching this? Maybe Sinestro showing up. You guys think that's a possibility? Probably. I think it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Or not teased at the very least. Because we already have the Green Lantern. I mean, set like already what's it called you know established in this universe. Maybe so is the Yellow Lantern Corps, and maybe so is the Red and the Blue and the whatever, and then the J Lantern Corps. You know, or not Yellow Lantern, Sinestro Corps. But you get my point. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Beer. <laughs> Jay, you gotta show me your oath, man. What? <laughs> the Green Lantern knows. Yeah, I gotta show you my what? <laughs> Yo, dude. Pause. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Maybe have a Kyle Rayner as a played by Alan Richardson. Oh God! Wait. Did you, did you say? I'm sorry. You said Kyle Rayner, Al, Alan Richardson, like yeah. Reacher Alan Richard. Yeah, dude. <laughs> as Kyle. <laughs> Being sarcastic, geeks like I'm, I'm getting. Oh, I was, about to, I was about to say, brother's <laughs> built like a twig, and you're trying to get him to be played by absolute Batman. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even think the Sinestro Corps would mess with them. Yeah. <laughs> absolute Batman comparison is just the Sinestro's like looking behind him, just looks up, and there's like <laughs> above Alaric. <laughs> And is like, where where's your lantern powers? I don't need them. Yeah, or, what? <laughs> you, you will no fear. <laughs> yeah. He said lantern powers wasn't in the debrief. But <laughs> he's like, wait, why is he getting yellow powers? Because you're fear. <laughs> <laughs> or why is it red and yellow? I'm angry at you. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I haven't had my nap. Yeah, or I haven't slept in three hours. <laughs> Just how long have you been awake? Oh you no! Know, if my mom doesn't want to do Lobo, I think Alan would be a good Lobo. He's, he's got the size for it. I don't know. If he's wearing wear that wig, wig, <laughs> that makeup too. I don't know. We'll we'll just see, won't we? Yeah. Or he'll play Green Arrow. I don't know. Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> no, geeks are Riddler, Jay. 
He's our like I can't see it. Um, now moving <laughs> on to <a> Monarch. <laughs> Hey, you said it first. You said it first. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, Amber Midhunter uh, from what's it called uh, Prey doing Monarch Season 2. Uh, geek. Uh, hot. I mean, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> um, Caught 4K. Uh, no, I mean, you know, good for her. I, I, I'm happy to see that after Prey, she's getting more like mainstream roles. I, I think that's good for her. Hopefully, you know, we'll get an inevitable maybe prey sequel with her or something. I don't know. Uh but I I'm I'm happy. I just hope like it's it won't be like a one off. Uh, so and I yeah, wonder if she'll be playing an antagonist. Playing. Yeah. Maybe a monarch agent. Uh love interest maybe. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay, what do you think? <laughs> Adam Hunter joins uh, Monarch season two. Yeah, I mean, yeah, good, good for her. Like, she's getting some more recognition out of, uh, or after Prey, not out of Prey. Like after Prey, she was she was a great actress there. I'm sure, sure she'll do great here. But I just hope they don't. Uh, I want to say typecast her, like, oh yeah, she was great as a tribe person and prey. Let's make her one of the. Uh, I forgot their names, but it was from. Uh, oh, the, oh, the tribe people. Yeah, the pro. Oh, the, from uh, Kong. Yeah, the Kong yeah, people. Yeah, I hope I hope she's not playing one of them. Oh damn it! He wasn't a damn. <laughs> damn, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, like I, I just hope she's not like typecasted as just like a tribe person because, mm. like, I mean, she, she's a great actress, and I mean, or I feel like we need to see more of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I hope she's not one of the tribe people. Um, in the uh, was it Overworld? Or... I'm sure. I I forgot the name. I I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I I just hope she's not one of the tribe people, and we'll only see her there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she's a Godzilla hybrid. You know, half Godzilla, half human. I don't know. (laughs) But, um, yeah, I'm with you guys. It's good that she's getting, you know, more roles after Prey. She's great, and uh, maybe she's playing, I don't know. Monarch agent or something, yeah. or she double crosses. I don't know. Well, now that I think about it, though, this is the this is the first person we've heard that's going to be in season two, right? That oh, new of. new member because I think Wyatt Russell's already coming back. Mm. I don't think I don't I don't know if Kurt Russell is, but I I know Wyatt Russell is. I'm pretty sure. Okay, why Russell? But I don't. I haven't heard of the other ones though. The like, the whole family and everyone. Well, I mean, I think it's it's safe to say. Obviously, most of the main cast is going to be coming. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah. Maybe we see, maybe we see someone from the movies too. Like Ken Watanabe. The depending where you set this movie, like they can. I assume it's going to pick up. What was it like? Twenty seventeen. Twenty. Whenever they dropped off, or like, but yeah, we'll we'll see, won't we? Yeah, we shall. And I, this is a little off topic of Monarch, but wasn't the girl from Prey Cohorty? No, she. Um, I think she was rumored, but the girl who voiced Cohorty was um, an Echo. An Echo. Not or the cousin, cousin, the cousin, cousin yeah. in Echo. Oh, okay. Because, like, I, I just remembered seeing that um, she was, like, uh, Rupert. I, I, yeah, I think that was just a fan cast. Uh, I know fan people want her as a live action. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I never knew who actually played her, and I thought it was, like, for a quick second, I thought it was her. I was like, wasn't well, she Gordy? Okay. Yeah, no, I thought it was you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was the guy. <laughs> Dude, did you see the Cohorty pop? 
Yeah. Yeah, that was looks pretty, cool. pretty good. I thought it was, I thought it was soda. No, they no. they announced the pop. No, there was a new the new what if uh, wave, and no, that was yesterday. Or yesterday, oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, I, need I saw it today. Yeah, well, yep. yeah. I'll, if I can find out, I'll send it to you after the show. All right, thanks. Yeah, the plug. <laughs> Fuck a plug. Yeah, feeding <laughs> feeding Jay's Funko addiction. Yeah. <laughs> no, so we'll see Godzilla when you know when that is. I guess we'll also see Noir. Uh, first look at Nick Cage and Noir. Uh, what do you What do you think? Starting with you, Geek, because you've been the most enthusiastic. You've been hyping this up, you know. Uh, until this is released and I'm watching it in front of me on screen, I call cap. <laughs> That's it. That's my TED talk. I call cap, and mm-hmm. until. I can see it just like with Madam Web. It's Cap. Hell, they filmed all of Batgirl and where is Batgirl? In the dumpster. <laughs> so, yeah. Probably in the, what's it called? The Void. Yeah, that'd be that. You just watch that's, it there. That's all I have to say about that. I mean, hope, I mean, yeah, sure. You know, good for Nick Cage. I like Nick Cage, but besides that. It looks cool, too. He looks badass. I mean, it's Nick Cage, so. But, so you're just calling Cap for now. That's that's all you have. That's the statement. Yeah, there, there's like not really much to talk about. There, it, it's sure. <laughs> you know, it's it's seeming it's seemingly an actual thing. Will it be an actual thing? I don't know. <laughs> Jerry, you was geek, or what do you think? Um. I'm... I'm excited for it, you know. Uh, wait. Oh, I didn't see my mic going off. Um, yeah, I'm a little excited for it. Um, I saw some people getting mad that, oh, yeah, he's not as well, well in a suit. I was like, well, I mean, he doesn't really need a suit. All he needs is, like, a mask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, I mean... We only had like what those two shots of just him in the uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought it was Silk that uh, was like getting put on hold. No, Silk got canceled. Oh, it got canceled. Oh yeah, they're not moving forward with that at all. Mm. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I thought it was just put put on hold for now. But... Mm. No, I'm pretty sure they canned it. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Yeah. They're just like, eh. Yeah, but I mean, hey, it's Nick Cage, Spider-Man Noir, um, aren't Phil Lord and Chris Miller uh, attached, right? I or, believe so. Yeah. I mean, I could see it coming out. Um, Amazon uh, was like the whole Amazon Prime being exclusive. Hmm. I, I can see, I can see this uh, happening, and I mean, we only got them two shots, so it's not. Uh, we haven't seen really anything yet. It but, can literally be Nick Cage filming a completely different product. Yeah, it, it really could. <laughs> it's just called noir, but it's nothing to do with Spider Man. <laughs> National Treasure Three Noir. <laughs> Or his name is Ben Riley, no correlation. <laughs> Benjamin Rileyson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he's undercover. <laughs> Come on, Ben, let's go rile these guys up. <laughs> dude, dude made a, a new Morbius meme. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, I, I'm just, you know, optimistic, you know. Look forward to it. To it. I mean, he's got the what? What does he call it? He's got the um, the drip. You know. Yeah. Looking, looking good. Uh, I, we can't really make out of the, the pictures. I mean, he's probably on the run, or he's after someone. I don't, I don't know. Walter, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> if, if this is the case, well, do you guys think this is like an origin story, or do you guys think he's established by the time we start the show? Uh, I'm gonna go with established. 
I'm gonna go fifty fifty. Like, like I think one or two episodes would be like his origin, and then like he becomes established after. Same. Uh, but I guess that wraps it up for that. Uh, we can talk a little bit of Agatha. Yeah. Yeah, what was it? Last week or the last time we recorded it was like the first two episodes. Mm, now we're on to three. Three? Yeah, we, we just didn't cover the episode four. Four? Five. Yeah. Okay, so now we got these last couple ones. Uh, I guess we can touch on some brief spoilers. I mean, if you guys haven't seen what was revealed in the last one, I mean, you, you're bound to see it, so. Leave now and then come back later. But Geek, what have you been thinking of Agatha so far, and especially after last night? I think episode five has been their best one so far. Uh, I don't really think it's close. My only complaint is I wish it was a longer episode. <gasps> um, the fuck? <laughs> I thought I was hearing things. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you got mad as an opinion. What was that? <laughs> like my cat. Oh, Damn, our pets are just messing with the show today. <laughs> my cat jumped on my part. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking big smoke here. Oh, but you wish it was okay. um, what's it called longer. That's yeah, a longer. I wish it was a longer episode. I'm loving the performances by Catherine Hahn and Joe Locke. Um, I think this episode, uh, just like I said, was the best episode. I think Joe Locke was really good in this. I like Catherine Hahn at the end when she seemingly got some of her powers back and kind of got a little bit more creepy. I liked seeing that from her. Uh, the Salem Seven, love seeing them back because they are creepy as hell. Aubrey Plaza looks like she's just having the time of her life. And yo boy Wiccan, what is he doing? It, did he throw all of them awesome. off the road out of anger? Is it part of the next trial just to go to the next spot? Who knows? I don't know. I can't believe we found out this quickly. I figured this would have been no Marvel television, the last second to last episode. It just reveals him cut, that's it. <laughs> And we got four episodes left still. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jay, what well, you've been also liking the show. What do you think of the last uh, couple? Yeah, I mean, I remember I told you, I thought episode four was the best one. And then they, episode five. Yeah, it is the best episode. And I I always hate that. Um, it's it's uh, with the uh, Marvel show. And how uh, Steven said, like, you wish it was a little bit longer. They always do that. When it gets good, like, when a a Marvel show gets good, the episodes become shorter and shorter. (laughs) She-Hulk. Yeah, I I forgot how long those episodes was. But, like, when I, uh, when I started it up, I was like, I was like, did it say it was 31 minutes? I was like, 31 minutes? I was like, you for real? And then I saw the ending, and then it cuts. I'm like, no wonder it was 31 minutes. <laughs> Honestly, they should not count. They should stop counting the end credits. They should just count the whole runtime. Yeah. And, like, I, I was, I was, I was mad because I was spoiled, but I, um, uh, I I knew he was gonna be Wiccan, but I got spoiled. Um, and I know what else happened, but I mean, for the reveal, that was kind of great. Mm-hmm. Like that, that was a great reveal for it to be Wiccan. I mean, we we all kind of knew it was gonna be him, but still. Oh yeah. Um, actually, I gotta agree. I think that might be the best episode, just the build up, and uh, 
I didn't expect to see her die. Uh, what's her name? A uh, freaking Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> I think I know it starts with an A, so I'm gonna go with Ash. Alice. Oh, okay. I I knew it started with an A. <laughs> Is it Ashley? I'm like, who's no, yeah. Alice? She was yeah. Just, look at she's um, like what? <laughs> she's just absorbing power. She's going crazy. Someone's gonna stop it. I'm like, no, they just yeah. Oh, dude, Catherine Hall's so great. Like she, like I like how she's very manipulative. Like they, they all just want to ditch her by now. Like of course they do, but like she's like. Yeah. Hold on, you need me for this, and like, yeah, I'll, I've been loving the chemistry between her and Aubrey Plaza. That's been awesome. Um, you know, I yeah, I don't, I don't know, I can't. I'm with you guys. I thought we'd get a little later the reveal, or at least second to last episode with the Wiccan stuff. But yeah, yeah, we definitely it's gonna be an interesting episode next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guess that wraps it up, though, right? I don't. Unless you guys want to add anything, any theories or anything. Mm. I'm I'm pretty set with what we got. Yeah. Yep. Well, I guess I can only mean one thing, Jay. Yep. That means I'm up. Yeah. Y'all know the rules. I'm giving I'm giving y'all hints, and y'all have to guess the character off of these hints. There's rules. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Come on. <laughs> assume the position. <laughs> yeah. right. Let her rip. All right. So, this character was created in 1940. All right. And now, the second hint there have been six different people. Holding the name of this character. Now, you, is this including? Or let me let me try and ask this in a way that I won't spoil it. Would this potentially include live action and animation, or just one or the other? One, the other. Okay. Uh, comics and live action. Hmm. Yeah, like there have. There's been six different. Okay, okay. Let me actually rephrase. Not in live action. I don't think all six of them have been introduced. And this is either Marvel or DC, right? Yeah, either Marvel or DC. Okay. Yeah. See now, the third hint is they have been villains and heroes. Hmm. Right. And the final hint is that four of these characters have appeared in live action. Okay. Uh, Captain America? No. That's not right. Is it? No. <laughs> the Silas movie. Uh... Not Batman, is it? No. Okay. 40s. I can rule off Superman because he was 39. I know that. Shit. I, I know it's wrong, but I'm going to rip it. Spider-Man. No. Okay, I just had to throw it out there. You're, you're about <laughs> uh, two decades early. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Spider-Man... I don't think Spider-Man had uh, four live-action appearances. <laughs> I mean, not good yeah, actually got like the the old cartoon or not cartoon dance TV shows, but Robin? No. Okay. Oh, okay, I didn't, can you hear me, Green Lantern? Is that your final guess? Yes. You are correct. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh yeah. Well, what are, what are the live break action it down ones? for us? So live action, it was Green Lantern, 
the movie Ryan Reynolds. Mm-hmm. You had Alan Scott in Star Girl. There was a um, what's it called? <clears throat> there was a little appearance. I know you're probably not gonna uh, count this, but in Arrow, there was a person walking in a Air Force jacket with the last name Jordan on it. Mm, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yep. And there was one in Smallville, which I didn't even know about. Oh, you're not even including the Snyder Cut version. Yeah, I thought you were going to... I was, That's I, was, what... I was thinking about it, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> what well, intro was that? I forgot the name. It was like a weird alien. I forgot the name. Kilowog? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, do y'all want that other... Because uh, it, it relates to... Uh, Green Lantern. Sure. I, I guess got got a let geek take one. You probably okay. hate me if I eat one. <laughs> <laughs> let her rip, Jay. All right. Can you guys tell me all the Lantern Corps colors and emotions? Oh god. And pair them together. Okay. Well so I know white is life, black is death, red is rage, orange is Jealousy, yellow is fear, green is will, blue is hope, pink is love. I know that's like a majority. That leaves like what two left, right? No, 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 no. White's not life. Uh, 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 teal or something is life, isn't it? No, teal is hope. White is life. Teal is like hope or something, right? No, you gotta you gotta switch them around, and there is no teal. Well, it's like a blue. I I, did, I didn't know if it was just regular blue. It's I only dark. knew I only know green and red. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how what many? Like... How many did? How many did I miss? Or did I get? You have six out of eleven. Oh. Fuck. Purple? Did you say purple? No, I did not say purple. But you got to match up the. Uh... The most oh, love. No, no, that's pink or indigo, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Huh? Well, um, I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> freaking... uh, I don't know if I said yellow fear. I feel like I don't didn't. Say yeah, that. yeah. You said you said yellow fear. Uh, that that oh, was yeah. that was one of the stuff I got. Okay. I don't I don't know anymore besides those colors. Did you say silver? There is no silver. I thought it was silver. I'm thinking white. No, you're probably thinking of white. Yeah, okay. it, was like, it was probably uh, like a shot of a white lantern. Okay. Damn. I'm I'm happy with my six because I got a majority of them. So. <laughs> I didn't call it night. You know, I already won the last knock. No. <laughs> Wait, which one did you, So you said what? Yellow, green, red, white, I said, and blue? I said white, black, uh, blue, red, green, yellow, pink. So, so I said seven. Oh, no, orange. Orange is envy. Eight. Oh, shit. You got orange. Or, not or the... envy, jealousy, whatever. Uh, something like No, <laughs> it's not jealousy. Damn. Oh, my God. What? Brown? No. What the fuck is orange? Because I know it's that fucking Larfez motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I know he wants to keep everything. I just don't know. Like, I swore it was like jealousy. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm jealous that I'm taking this and it's mine now.
It's not Pride, is it? No. Pride's probably another one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm happy with my seven or whatever then. Yeah. So he's got seven thousand years of what? Like, like four? Four ish? Yeah, four. I think here. Holy shit. Oh. Uh, can I get a hint? <laughs> I'm going to give you one for uh, uh, what's it called? For orange. When you take, take, and take, it's count as what? Gluttony. No. Fuck. But you're close. It is it is one of the seven deadly sins. Pride. Uh envy. Lust. No. And uh, I hold on. Shut the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> Pride, envy, sloth, not sloth, uh, ray. I give up, Jay. You give up. Yes. Damn. Yeah, I'm good. It's too late at night for me to keep going. (laughs) It's going to be one in the morning. I think it's. Hatred. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stephen got six of them, and I was wrong. I accidentally double counted, so there wasn't eleven. There was nine. That was that was my bad. But Damn. all of them are fear, life, hope, purple, mercy, love, indigo, black. Death, red, rage, green, will, and orange, greed. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Juan, you only got. I wasn't one. <laughs> was was I, think, I, I think I ran a little bit too fast through them for him to skip. Like, uh, Rhett, for yeah. start spitting them. <laughs> Easter is you got most of them. I thought you was gonna get at least like nine, like all nine. There is there is a tenth one. I forgot about the purple. Yeah, yeah. There is a tenth one. It's sapphire, and it's a mix of love and hope. Oh, that's probably the one I was thinking. Yeah, probably. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> half point. Yeah, half. <laughs> you still got you still got the love. Uh, you still got the love. I mean, that that one was just like its own core for something. It's gonna do its own thing. Yeah. <laughs> so now who's ready for a tiebreaker? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be like, all right, part three, or name all the members of. <laughs> Kyle that'd Rainer. be like two days. <laughs> he's like, no, he just yeah, just Kyle Rayner because he's in all of them. Yeah, and Hal Jordan, boom, done. Yeah, and Batman. He was oh, a yeah, because <laughs> he's white man. I think though that 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 about wraps it up, huh? Yep. Oh yeah, it's been an honor being back. Uh, cool. See you guys next week. Um, thanks again. Uh, the Geek Takeover, Man the Myth, the Legend. Yes, you can catch me. Uh, just chilling. Yeah, no. Maybe I don't, really got, I don't got. I don't got anything witty to say. I don't. Yeah. It rapids. <laughs> Surviving. Do the like hurricane. a. Oh yeah, man. So y'all, y'all stay safe out there. Oh, it's not even anywhere near us. So. Oh. He said, "We cool, we chill." Yeah. Still, 
Um, Jay, uh, the the legendary Jay Money ninety eight. Where can people find you? Um, they can find me at J Money D E J on Instagram and J Money D E J E on Twitch. Ooh. Yeah. Still, some asshole got D E J before me. Don't know who. I still really like to imagine that it's just you and you forgot. Yeah, I, 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 I was thinking I was like that. That's possibly be a possibility, but I'm like. The only account I have is Jay Money. So I'm like, I don't know how. how I could have. Or time travel, dude. Yeah, I mean, that that's like the only explanation I have. Multiverse, you know. One of my variants get DD. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can follow me at Juancho anywhere. Um, or in Culture Shock and all our socials. I'll be around. You know, catch Batman and Robin. Well, not catch some horror movies. Hell yeah. Yeah. Horror marathon. Horror marathon? Whoa. Yeah, horror marathon. You know, Texas Chainsaw. Slow <laughs> down there, buckaroos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Um, but, yeah, that, that wraps it up for this week. You know, it's uh, October 10th. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Au revoir. Peace.